everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your Saturday night. This is your Saturday night. What are we doing? It's art night. That's what we're doing. We're going to do some drawing tonight. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to talk a little bit while I get started. But I have some things to talk about. I mean, I know I usually have something kind of uh, buzzing about in my mind. Sometimes I talk a lot. Sometimes I talk a little. Sometimes I don't say much at all. But I always kind of have something going on with my thoughts, with my mind, and that's something that I'm going to be talking about just a little bit as we go forward uh, with Art Night. So, <clears throat> I'm going to be just doing a drawing. Um, technically, this is a drawing I have done before. Like, I've done versions of this drawing before. But I'm going to do a new one. You know, something different, a different version of this. Uh, but, let me just talk to you for a minute about something that sometimes is a little bit frustrating for me. And uh, while I do that, I'm just going to let you know that depending on where you're joining me, uh, somewhere there's going to be a, uh, a link for my website somewhere nearby. And why is that there? Well, let me tell you why that's there. That is there so that if you would like to support my art... Um, what I do uh, help these live streams continue. That's something that is possible. It's something you can do. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but <clears throat> I will say that it it's really important to me as a creator, as uh, an artist, as uh, an author... As so many different things. The way that I can keep doing what I'm doing uh, comes down to all of you. All of you uh, helping support, um, helping keep this going. So do consider popping over to my website. There's going to be a link either in the description of the video or in the comments for said video, the chat area, depending on where you're joining me. But... Uh, I do have, uh, just a quick little reminder, I have captions going. So I have captions should you want them or need them. Uh, and other than captions, we also have... Um... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. This is being recorded. It's being recorded. So, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot going on. And uh, there's a lot we can do with what is going on. So let me go ahead and jump into the, the art part of this. And I'm just going to grab some charcoal here. And let's see. There's a few different ways I want to go about this. but I always feel like... I'm fighting against myself when it comes to uh, my creativity. I'm in a battle against my own ability. And that battle sometimes is very difficult. It's very... overwhelming because I have so many ideas and because I have so many ideas I don't always know what to do with those ideas I don't always know how to express the things I want to create and because I don't always know how I want to express what I'm doing, I can get stuck. 
Now, if you are a creative individual, you might have a similar issue. I can't say that you do have a similar issue, but you might have a similar issue. You might find yourself in this position where you have ideas, where you have thoughts, where things are coming through, but you're just like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to make this. How do I... How do I express myself in the way I want? How do I <clears throat> create the things I want? How do I make my desires happen? How do I truly express what it is that's going on in my mind? And... I have a lot I'm going to be saying for a little bit. So uh, forgive me if some of it comes off, I don't know, a little weird. But creativity is an everyday process. It's an everyday struggle. Struggle is maybe the wrong word. But it's something that I am dealing with in one way or another every day. Like what it is that I want from my creative work. And not just what I want from my creative work, but how I want to be perceived for said creative work. No one just gets up one day and has everything all figured out. Oh, okay. Most people don't get up and just have everything all figured out. I think that's actually a more fair way to put that. We don't just know instinctively everything that we're going to do, how we're going to do it, how we're going to carry through with our dreams, our desires. What it is that drives us forward. There's a intrinsic messiness. I think that's actually a really good way to put that. There, there's a messiness to creativity. And there's a messiness to dreams. And there's a quality of the unknown in what we desire. That quality is an interesting thing, a perplexing thing, a frustrating thing. I think frustrating actually is a very apt word to use here. I have a lot um, 
that I kind of want to work through to express it would be very fair to say I'm lost within my own process I'm not just figuratively stuck. Sometimes I'm quite physically stuck. Like, what is the next phase? What's the next action to take? What's the direction I'm heading. <clears throat> there's a lot of directions we can take, and there's a lot of things that we can do, and there's all these gritty, weird, intricate, interconnected bits in what we can do. It's messy. It's weird. Sometimes I wonder uh, what I should do, how I should pursue the things I want. Sometimes I get confused. And I feel there's a high likelihood that if you are a creative person that you might find yourself in a similar state of thought, a similar place in your own mind where stuff gets messy. If you don't understand what I'm saying, uh, just feel free to say so in the chat wherever you're joining, joining or, you know, just... Uh, feel free to kind of add whatever uh, perspective or thoughts you might have, you know, literally any point. Your thoughts are very welcome. But let me get back to a couple things I'm saying here. I feel I won't say lost so much as out of touch. I'm 
not just out of touch, but confused. Confused about what's going on with me. In case you're confused too, don't worry, we are going somewhere. But there's some things I want to get in early in this, um, because even though I kind of have uh, a little bit of a different um, goal for this piece uh, than I did the first time I tried it out, I still have some good ideas. And those good ideas, uh, they require some playing around. So I've been bouncing back in my head for a little bit. Like a few ideas, a few thoughts of some stuff that I think would be interesting to try out. Um, and... You know, I, I've written a script for a new film recently, and I'd like to try that out, but I also don't know if that's where my energy should be right now. And other than that, you know, I've just been doing a lot of different things. I've been writing stories, and I've been doing a lot of art. I've been doing a lot of long-form painting lately on um, the channel here, and, uh, you know, I like it, and at the same time, I'm mulling in my mind, is that what I want to do? Do I want to do these long-form paintings? Do I want to do these uh, more in-depth pieces? Or is it something that I'm doing specifically because I'm trying to find, like, what I'm doing? Is it that I'm... Is it because I'm lost that I haven't really committed hard to certain things? Because I, I enjoy, like when I was making films, I really enjoyed it. When I'm writing books, I really enjoy it. When I'm making poetry, I really enjoy it. When I'm doing film, I really enjoy it. But at the same time, you know, I can't just do these things on a whim. And because I can't just do them on a whim, um, I get very frustrated get very frustrated and it's like oh well I, I have to do this or I have to do that I can't just do this thing because it makes me happy and I don't know maybe that's unfair to put that much pressure on myself Maybe it's really unfair to enforce stringency. Maybe 
idea and need to be more flexible. But at the same time, if I just create whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want, um, sure, I'll, I'll enjoy what I'm doing, but I won't be... being uh, kind of thoughtful about what I'm doing. It'll just be anything goes. And, you know, that's, that's not a way to progress. When I won my awards, at some film festivals like that was oh felt so good and then it's like okay well i need to make more serious films maybe uh, the idea of having to be so rigid with what I was doing started to make me not want to do it. It's like, oh, I can make this great art. But the second you tell me that I have to do it in this particular way, I just lose interest. And that's a bad state to be in, no matter how you look at things. If you start to lose interest because you have to be more structured, I mean, was that a good thing for you to be spending your energy on to begin with? Were you wasting time and energy and potential? Or... Is trying to do things in a way that's not genuine, is that what's wasting your potential? Oh, I have all sorts of thoughts. I know, maybe some of you uh, did not join this stream today for thoughts. You joined for art. There's absolutely nothing wrong with having joined for something very specific. So for those of you today who joined specifically for the art and not for the um, self-reflection, I apologize. I'm also going to be doing some really hard line things. I'm doing a little experimentation while I make my art today. Well, I make my art today. not going for hyper realism or anything like that I'm really being a lot more flexible with my style uh, let's be fair I don't really do hyper realism to begin with but sometimes with my drawings they can be really realistic they can be really kind of in depth um, I just don't feel like doing that today I don't feel like committing myself to a certain style or 
even a certain outcome. Why should I be beholden to one way to create? Why should I feel like that's the way it's supposed to be done? And I think that's also kind of a problematic heart about my current state of mind. Like, I have these ideas, and these ideas are good, maybe. Maybe these ideas aren't good. What do I know? For those of you, though, who are staying, despite um, all the kind of uh, rambliness, thank you for being here. I can't say I'm having a existential crisis or anything like that, but I'm definitely overthinking a lot right lately. You know, just really getting uh, overly inside my own head. Really getting overly inside my own head. I'm having fun with this charcoal. I'm having fun with some colored pencils. I'm having fun with this creative endeavor. This whole thing is... I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. But we do have a pretty nice drawing shaping up as I go through my own thoughts and my own curiosities. I'd love to know uh, where people are joining from today. Um, if you're here and if you'd like to share in the chat, uh, feel free to let us know where you're joining from, uh, what you are doing this uh, lovely weekend. And if you're doing anything artistic, you know? Let's go ahead and get creative. I don't have enough colors today. Or maybe I do have enough colors, I've just not been able to decide how I want to use them. Also, I realize there's a few spots in this that look really weird. Maybe not just a few spots. But there's spots that look weird.
What do you think? I do enjoy hearing the opinions of others. And I do enjoy being able to explore. That is one big yes for the day, exploration. Now, normally some of this stuff should wait until a little later in the drawing, but um, that's not what I'm feeling today. I don't know. Feeling like committing to a certain look. I can't believe it's only been 32 minutes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It has only been 32 minutes? That's wild. That's wild. I started this a half an hour ago and I'm already here. Maybe that's worth some consideration on my part. You know, maybe I'm going too fast. And if I am going too fast, uh, again, I would love to hear about it. Maybe I should slow down. Maybe I should take it easy. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should not take it easy. Maybe I should go ahead and continue doing what I'm doing. Again, uh, I leave it to all of you to tell me what you think. Like, is this the wrong way? Is this the right way? Are we doing something good? Are we doing something bad? Uh, is this visually interesting? I don't know. Am I talking into the void? Maybe I am. I think that's actually my biggest worry recently. One of my biggest worries is that I'm just screaming into the void. And maybe that's an unfair um, assessment of what is going on. But you know, I very easily could be screaming into the void. Screaming, screaming, screaming into the void. Things could be better. They could definitely be worse. That's some of that experimentation and play. I just added kind of some red around what would be the waterline and the eyelid and whatnot. Um, I'm going to add a little bit up here, both sides.
though not the best way to do things, I do enjoy having like a large brush with me um, when I'm drawing. So if I need to like rub things away, I can do it with the brush. I like the way it looks. Oh goodness. lack in here there's certain rules that I normally follow but when I'm drawing I just ignore those rules because I don't think that some of them are as important so like when I paint I don't use blacks or at least I use very little black but when I draw I definitely kind of use strategic black um, in spots and well, that's something I'm doing here Sometimes you just got to do that. Use little strategic things and additions. Uh, those strategic additions can really change everything. Absolutely everything. We have a lot to get done and a lot to expand upon while well, I'm going ahead and kind of making some choices. I'm actually going to go ahead doing some kind of uh, green nail polish. Is it necessary? No. Do I like it? Yes. So there we go, a little green nail polish. Uh, some of our proportions are a little funny. A little funny. But don't you worry. Don't you fret. You know, we're getting closer to something real real is it real is it real some strategic erasing and brush use Some of these places I want the colors to pop. So I recently uh, created this um, space to stream from 
where I would be kind of in a room where I didn't have to break everything down. And uh, I wouldn't have to worry about the cats getting into everything. But what is occurring right now at this very moment is one of the cats is digging at the door and meowing because she is upset that she is not being included in this moment. And I have to say, that to me is really funny right now. She's like, I can hear you. I know you're in there. Why am I not in there with you? What's going on? And I respect that kind of commitment to just being like, hey, we're family. Why are you doing this all by your lonesome? Normally you're out here with us. Oh, it's funny. So yeah, this is a nice piece. I'm liking where I'm going. I know I'm still kind of um, haphazard. You know, we're not in a particular spot yet. But I actually think this is pretty good progress. You know, this is, this is the way that this drawing is evolving. And the way it's evolving, well, I don't know, is this. Whatever this is. Whatever this is. Not every drawing has to be perfect. In fact, I think sometimes things should be very, very imperfect. So yeah, um, I don't know. I guess I got a lot on my mind. I got a lot of creativity I want to get out. And I have a lot of things that I'm not sure what to do with them. But there are things that I am sure of. I'm sure that. Sitting here drawing and creating and making. I do feel like I'm screaming out into the void. Screaming out into the void. I don't know, I guess there's nothing I can do about that right now. But it does feel good to say it out loud, you know? To say, hey. I am lost. And I don't know how I'm going to find myself. Not find myself, literally, obviously, but, you know.
little bit of those roots coming in. Actually, I just think, actually, that looks really good. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. We do have a couple things to acknowledge here. That hairline's not great. Let's fix that up a little. And then let's actually give a little bit of some darker root areas here. That, that's definitely looking cool. Yeah. So let's go ahead. We're going to do it again on the other side. Uh, layering. So important. I'm looking at it myself, uh, not just here on my board, but also on the screen to like see how it looks. I think it looks really good. And because of that, I'm feeling a little more confident today. What's that saying? Confidence is key. Confidence is key. You know, there's some deep shadow going on here. But we're going to have to do some stuff to kind of splay that shadow out more. I don't know exactly what kind of lighting I would call this, but it's getting better as I go. Much better. We're developing more depth here. Um, lots more depth, actually. that you are enjoying this work of art as it is created. Normally I would um, not just do that directly into my zone there, but I don't know, I have some things I want to do, so... Uh, but we are getting some more depth. More depth. And with depth, well, comes all sorts of other things. So, uh, actually, I said this earlier, but I'm going to say it again. This is actually a drawing 
uh, I have done a version of before. But I like kind of to do um, recurring themes um, and characters. Not exactly characters per se, but, you know, I do like when I can work with something that has some coherence and this is just a different take on something I've already done before. Not a perfect take, but a different take. And I, I like the way it looks. Uh, there's a couple things I'm going to add. So one of those first things... As I just leave my uh, pencil shavings in my box here. So one of those first things I'm going to add is actually... A few of these underlashes. Just a few. That's not enough, really. No. I'm going to give her way too many eyelashes. Like, maybe she's wearing false eyelashes. And then... Bunch of junk attached to my eraser. We can't have that now. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead. Getting into some corrections. Missing something important. I can't finish this without that important thing. Oh no. Sometimes I like to come in with a little bit of pen. Not because it necessarily makes anything look more real, but I like uh, the effect it gives.
just have a little bit of pen in there which really makes those uh, eyes pop all the more and it's really giving that indication of like the false eyelashes in a fun way So it's just little things like the pen and the extra pop in the eye. We're just adding flavor. Flavor. Little micron pen additions. My hands, my hand ended up a little weird, but it's okay. We're not gonna concern ourselves with that too much. You know, there's some oddities here, but um, nothing bad. Nothing bad. Just some oddities. Just some odds and ends, bits and bobs. Um, but I'm already liking this a lot. Grab my number two here. A little bit of ink goes a long way in a piece like this. how you give something like the uh, the comic book treatment not really but I mean there's a a tangible connection to like this and like comic book inking even if it's just a small one
And as far as drawings go, I'm really, I'm pretty happy with this one. It's a very nice piece. Uh, there are places that I can see where I can make a lot of improvement. There's also places in here where I actually see that I've improved from what would have been the original drawing. You know, those little spots. Like with all drawings, it is a work in progress at all times. But I've just added a couple little things there and erased a couple things because we want more of the... Um, kind of natural shaping. And then just a few little lines to give uh, some shape to the lips, some texture. Actually, it even makes it look like she almost has slightly chapped lips. <laughs> so she has some slightly chapped lips now, just with these little bits of uh, line in there. Um, and then all that color that was added earlier. And there we have it. Um, I'm calling that a finished artwork. Uh, it's just a drawing. You know, we're drawing with your Saturday night. That's what today was, a chance to draw. Um, I think I actually created a really realistic looking root line uh, for the part. So I'm happy with that. Um, the face, we're going to call it decent. The face is decent. The, um, the details could be better, much better, but, you know, I think on the eyes and on the root line, I really succeeded. And for just drawing for an hour, I'm going to call this a really nice piece. That is going to be it today for all of us. I have been your Saturday night, and... Though we never really got to the crux of anything important, uh, you know what we did get to? A really good time together. I would like to say thank you to everyone who's been here. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for making these nights fun. You take care. Be excellent. I'll see you all again very soon. And, uh... Oh, this month is going to be erratic, so I'm not sure exactly all the times I'm going to be streaming, but we're going to do the best we can. Um... I don't know. Hopefully that'll be good. <laughs> take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you all again soon.